Hi, this is Sandra Long, and I'm going to share with you the LinkedIn mobile app and how to navigate around. I highly recommend you use the LinkedIn mobile app and you download it to your smartphone. So let's take a look at the navigation. When I look at the when I look at the page on the very lower left, the, the lower panel includes five different tabs. The very lower left that was, has a home, an icon for a home, and this is showing that you're at the home feed, and you can scroll down, and this is really where you're seeing your content from your connections. The second one is my network. This is very similar to the desktop. You can manage your network, meaning finding your connections. I can see my invitations and people that you may know. Basically, this is where LinkedIn is suggesting people for you. If I want to manage my network, I can come right in here and click through to any of these. The plus sign helps you when you want to make a post, when you want to add a document. The bell at the bottom is your notifications. I really like notifications. I like to see when someone's followed me. I like to see when they want to join one of my groups or they like my comment. All of this is important. And then the briefcase on the right, this is for job seekers. So you can see jobs you've saved. You can indicate manage alerts for companies you're interested in. A lot of the things you can do on desktop, you can do here on the mobile app. Now, at the upper panel on the very right-hand side is messaging. So I can see here all the different messages that I have, and I can respond back to people or I can search my messages from the search bar, or at the very upper right-hand side, upper right-hand corner, I can initiate a new message. In the upper panel, in the there's a search bar right in the middle. So here I click, and I can initiate a search based on people, jobs, content, companies, schools, and groups, all from here. And then on the upper left panel, I see my headshot. By clicking on my headshot, I can see all the pages I manage. I can see where I've been recently. My groups are here. My events are here. And the hashtags that I follow. Not only do I have all of that information, but I can go back and look view profile and I do I, do, I can open up my profile. Now, I, theoretically, yes, I can make edits. You can see the blue pencil. However, I always recommend to people that they make their edits, their primary edits really should be made on the desktop. It's just so much easier to do. There's one other thing I do want to mention. When you're at your profile page, it's sort of hidden, but in the upper right-hand corner, there's a gear icon, and if you click on that, it brings you into all your settings. So that's, it's easy once you find it, but it's kind of hard to find it. Now back to the search bar, one last thing I want to show you, which I love, is the QR code. So there's an icon on the right-hand side of the search bar. By clicking that, there we go, there is my unique QR code that I can give someone to connect with me. So I highly recommend you download the app, consider using it to get freshened up about someone that you're going to meet, you know, review their profile to make sure you know the latest and greatest about that person so you'll have a stronger meeting, a stronger conversation. Thanks very much, and I hope you love the LinkedIn mobile app as much as I do.